currently this radiator fan is just directly hardwired to be on all the time when the ignition is on. So what we're going to do is we'll take this plug out right here that goes into the water jacket so the coolant that flows around the engine and we are going to install this right here along with its associated relays and it's a thermostat so that that radiator fan will be controlled to the correct engine operating temperature here we've got the uh, thermostat installed right here got the wire running installed the relay over here and then that all runs to our fan and if we do a quick test and just kind of jump this as if the thermostat was to trigger on temperature you can see that our fan comes on so that's all working and ready to control that fan so that we can always be running at the optimum temperature. Adjustment screws, left side, that's a quarter, half, one, two, and an eighth. Okay, right side, half, one, half, Ooh. so that was half, three quarter. One idle adjustment needle. There it goes. Yep, there it is. Top here should now be able to pop loose. There it goes. Okay, we've got a spring right here. Our float here. We can pull the pin. Bring the float and the needle out. So down inside here where the accelerator pump goes, we've got a little spring. And there's the other one. Also appears to be down inside those ports where the jets go. You can certainly see some gunk down in there. So it has a gasket on it. Oh, and look at all those little holes that we don't want plugged up. Sorts of gunk down in there. Gasket here. Ooh, some of those holes didn't line up very well on that, did they?
clean all this gunk off. the new accelerator pump and the old. We just need to transfer this spring over to the new one. Just like that. Carburetor back together. I'm setting up the float travel. Um, you can't really see that, but it goes right up to that now. It was traveling way too far and then it also wasn't stopping in the right spot. So now I've got that travel all set up so the float pole should fill up to the correct level. New accelerator pump and clip. If you take a look at this accelerator pump, so this is the new one. Here's the old one. The old one is missing. You can see down inside the new one, there's a spring that wraps all the way around in there. The old one was completely missing that spring. So it, probably was never getting a very good seal, which might be part of our acceleration issue. Install the new little check ball for the accelerator pump and a new spring. Let's get in all this piece. Get this screw and the gasket that goes on it. Found so when we took this apart, this spring was over the top of this, which that's not where it goes. Um, this spring belongs down inside here. Now we did take a spring out of there. That was this one. But this spring doesn't belong in there. It belongs inside this with our little filter here. So we've got the correct spring down in there. We've got our new gasket on here. We'll go ahead and line up our accelerator pump, get everything to slide down in place, and run our uh, screws back in. piece was missing all of its seals and it had that blue goop on it so we're gonna put it back together now we've got a seal that goes down inside here Get that position just like that and then this fuel filter here will go down inside like that we also have this gasket here and then this spring that was missing it's going to go inside there and it pushes on this filter and that provides a bypass. If this filter gets plugged, that filter can get pushed out of the way with the spring there and gets pushed in so that fuel can continue to flow, though you'll lose performance when that begins to happen. Here just provides vacuum and that vacuum goes to the distributor to uh, provide the vacuum advance. On up. Got a new gasket. The old one that was on there was incorrect, so now we have the correct fitting gasket. We can go ahead and position this piece. And screws run all the way in. Now we were two and a quarter and just under two on this side. I think uh, they each side feeds one side of the engine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of balance that out and I'm going to put them both at two to start because we're going to end up needing to make adjustments later anyway. So that's half, that's one and a half, that's two. So half, one, half, two. And then we'll be able to... Okay, we got everything cleaned up and rebuilt. Time to go back on. Right 
carburetor's been all rebuilt. Everything's put back on. And uh, got all our linkages back in place. So it's ready to be test run again, but uh, currently have this exhaust loose so that I can get access to the brake uh, master cylinder underneath. So won't be starting it just yet, but we should be ready to fire it up here soon. And uh, I'm expecting that it should run quite a bit better now that it has proper gaskets and the accelerator pump is uh, put together correctly.